welcome back to Project Zomboid. Got some construction plans for today. Since we now got a saw, that's gonna be great. Is there a bag here? There's a saw. Put that in our regular bag here. Let's get all these books. Regular glue, that's not gonna help. Grumble. <laughs> Let's get some stuff put away here. Let's have some books in here in the food section. Let's take out some other stuff so we can put that in there. Uh, we got other canned foods. Got some chips. That's actual food here. There's a book way. Quite a bit. All these different useful books here. Kind of need these just in the car or something. So I want to get these all together with the other useful books. Makes sense. Okay. Put the food and stuff back in here. Food and food adjacent. Close enough. Alright. Another book. Another book. Too much. Let's put some stuff away. Let's have these little magazines. They're also pretty good. Those will be helpful. These are just regular magazines. We could technically go put that on that section there. Just store in some stuff here. How to use generators. Should definitely read that. Unfortunately this is not wood glue. I'd be really happy if we had some wood glue. Crowbar is important. As our backup weapon currently. Okay. Got lots of different readable magazines here. That's good. Can't really do much with the books currently due to not actually having the levels to use it. That's okay. Kind of need to at some point make our way back to the other house. If only to get access to what we currently have there. Got various things in various seats back here. Let's consolidate some stuff. There's our other broken wood axe. Oh, they are not doing good. I am slightly concerned with how the crowbar is going to do for us. We will have to if we can't find another wood axe. Various books in here. We're only missing two, which is crazy. We need metal work. Just write down the actual book we need here. We need metal work, volume four. We've got three here. Oh, they're just books here. Mechanics, mechanics. Also need electrician. Slightly different than the name of the skill here, which is electrical. It's close enough, obviously. But then we need volume five. We got every other book, which is absolutely wild. Here we're going to hold on to the just magazine bits here. We could read those while we are waiting around at night or something. Let's have two copies of this one. That's not necessary. These are all ones we have unread still, which is great. Anything in the trunk here? Nope. That's alright. Okay. And we'll put all of these in here. Because we don't need the duplicate of this, we can put that in the not needed wardrobe. There's a lot of stuff here we don't technically need. It's all something. We'll unpack. It seems to be a store one option. That's some kind of shift click or something. I'll be fine. Put these 
in the useful section here. Pretty much anything except for the crowbar, essentially. Because that we are still holding on to, because we're going to need it very soon here. Okay. We're not currently getting bonus farming. Let me grab that earlier. We have the farming two book on us. Because we're not getting bonus farming. I mean, we're not really getting farming XP anyway, so. I don't think we have farming three here. If we find a different farming three, that would also be an option. Just comes a zombie. Just right over here. Multiple zombies. Uh Why? <laughs> Why do you exist? <laughs> Just all of a sudden, like five zombies show up. We've killed so many zombies here. Why are there more? <laughs> it is a sad time. That's some chips. <laughs> Alright. What's our wire doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look to see if we had farming two. If we would not, we wouldn't have farming two because that would obviously mean we didn't already have it. We already had most of the twos previously. Let's go check the school for farming two bucks. Let's kill another zombie. There's wandering. More annoying than anything. We didn't even try to loot the ones that are on, in the driveway there. They're just in the heap of other zombies. That makes me sad. <laughs> here's some fence we could use. Oh, here's more zombies. <laughs> Do we need to kill all the zombies? <laughs> yeah, kinda. If we don't. And they just become a nuisance later. I don't know what I'm expecting to find. <laughs> There's just random little things they can have would be still good to have, I guess. Alright. Let's go up to the front door here. Let's look at all the cars out back. It must be a good time. We already got some farming experience here. That was not granting super bonus multipliers. Having multipliers of XP is definitely a good choice. So if we find the farming two book here, we're gonna need to take it out of our collection elsewhere. We've got enough here that should exist. Forging. Fishing, farming one, that's the color we're looking for. Got so many bookcases here, pretty great. Look at all these. Specifically want farming two. Looking for a specific book. Definitely easier said than done. And there's farming two, okay. We'll grab that for reading. And also, a benefit of just the books here, is that we can actually stay on the pages instead of having to worry about the entire time. There's also a lot we could still loot here. We into the administrative area. Just heaps and piles of things. Do we need any of it? Unlikely. Regular glue. Maybe I got some wood glue. Come on. You know you want to. Some filing cabinets. Nothing too crazy. Hmm. 
nurse's area. That's not bad. I'll take some first aid stuff. Ooh, a suture needle. Okay. We were out of those. We used our only one of those. I'll take some suture needle. That's pretty good. And pink up bear blockers, alcohol wipes. Yep. Take all those. A little bit of first aid. That's not bad. Build a water bottle. What's in here? Some more first aid. Yoink. <laughs> we got some stuff on the ground here. More first aid. Alright. Pretty much everything from here, besides some extra scissors. That's at least something. I'll take it. In literal sense, I just took it. Desk of things. Take a paper clip. I don't really need to be looting everything here. We can, though. It is an option. Alright. On to the next thing I want to do here. It is a little tiny bit of working with carpentry. We got the multiplier. Let's go and find. Just kind of basically want to shore up the window that's currently broken. I mean, I guess we're over here right now. We could go and look for the things that are in the cars in the back. Let's run all this over here. Not too heavy, all this. Oh. Oh. And stop moving the crowbar. We'd like to keep that when the axe inevitably breaks here. Go back, back. More zombies wandering around. Wouldn't be surprised. We killed so many of them. Okay. See what we can do here. Need some chips. And these cars are not looking great. Trunk's locked. Can't even get inside because they're broken. Got any gas? Take some gas. How broken they are, I'm not expecting much. No, zero gas. Not in a good condition. If there's anything actually inside here, can't even look at it. Empty bottle, lug wrench, plastic bag, me. Closed door, smash windshield. Attach it to itself. Or the other one. It's an interesting thought. Probably not. I guess if there's no option in siphon gas, that means there's no gas inside it. That'd be a quick check. Just going in various cars here. Let's see what we got here. I see any zombies around. Not something. Let's get information about each of the cars here too. Two gasoline in this one. It's overall in eh condition. Locked. Locked. Trunk has got twine tart duct tape. Be great to find some wood glue. We have one wood glue, which is annoying. So we had another one. Everything'd be great. Alright, do we wanna be siphoning gas over here? I think we probably should. At least get nice and full here. We can even try to get a little extra gas. We need to put it into a different seat, though. Because if I actually fill it up, it's going to be significantly heavier, unfortunately. Just having some spare gas wouldn't be a terrible plan, all things considered. Siphon. Go into here. Into the equip. That's as much as two gets us. I get at least ten in there. Okay. 
Put the rest of these vehicles here. Locked there. Locked here. We absolutely can just bust on in. If we want to. All the hoods are available though. Which is definitely something. 54 gas in 81% condition. Not bad. Hoods 97%. This is not terrible. Trunk. I don't think this would have a back seats though. Not in bad condition though. Got a lot of gas too. Just for the storage space. This is, okay, we broke the windows, I think for no reason. 75%, that's fine. 53. It's got more. Everything here. One window is just straight up missing. These things are broken. It's kind of a nicer condition. But just for by having less seats, I might just straight up have less storage. You want to break the other window here so we can get in here? Kind of do. See if we can avoid slashing our wrists here. <laughs> Smash front right window. So not the driver at least. Hopefully that's fine. We can attach things. We did some New mechanical things. Just remove the window. We don't have any skill in that department. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe someday we'd be able to fix the window. Nope. Broke our hands again. <sighs> Why did we do this to ourselves? The switch seat, driver seat, the hot wire the engine. Okay. Unlock the door. We kind of have the key here. Unlock the trunk. We only have access to the seat and a glove box in here. So that's minus 40 storage just for not having the back seats. Trunk is 120 though. That's not terrible. It's also more convenient if you just put everything in the trunk. Just because they have less seat capacity though. Something to consider. 120 trunk is pretty nice. This current trunk's 47. Hmm. So even losing the 40 of the back there, I actually do benefit quite a bit. Alright. It's an option. How does it handle? That's the next question. Basically full. It's also shorter, which also is more convenient. We're just getting into positions. I'm not against it. Let's try not ramming into anything here. It's definitely got less like permanent storage if everything's just gonna be in the trunk instead. It's an option. It's an option. Oh, here come some zombies. Equip in both hands, the axe, get rid of these. Let's try to look at some cars here. 
There's a zombie over there. Come on. No, you want to. Handcuffs. We could also fill up both of these cars with gas. That'd be fine, too. Coal. We're in the food department. Could do more. Next car. What are we looking at? How are we feeling? This one has no gas. It's in okay condition. Four seats. Drunk. Fairly similar to our car here. Get in. It's got some twine, I guess. Yeah, no gas. The lock is broken. Hmm. It's entirely broken. It's unlocked. Good. Is it actually broken here? No. <laughs> there you go. That's a 50, a 36 trunk. Okay. I'm just in one of these big vans here. I could have a lot of space in the back. It's in 74% condition. No gas, but it's doing fine. Yeah, all things considered, it's got a little bit of a ding in the windshield and the hood a little bit. Overall, in a decent state here, though. We can get inside. Trunk is unlocked. Some alcoholic wipes and ear buns. Take that. All right, let's see what kind of trunk this has. 90, it's actually less. Hmm. You'd think you could fit more in the back of this than that, but apparently not. We got seven bourbons, my goodness. We need seven bourbon right now? Probably not. <laughs> Next car. Let's get the state of things here. No gas. Battery is pretty low. Trunk's in bad condition. Not really what we're looking for. It's open though. I'll take a magazine. We're just in here, constantly unlocking the trunks. When it works, it works. 65, could be worse. Thirty-three, eh. Let's, let's just get straight inside. There's a whole key. Not that we needed it, that's fine. Another bandage, like that. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any gas, since there wasn't any siphon gas option. Open this up. Condition-wise, eh. Eh. Could be worse, though. This we found some Potentially functional vehicles here. No gas. Not much of the gas. I mean, I guess the one vehicle had all the gas, essentially. Duct tape. I could repair this with duct tape. Potential repair 20%. It's just not very much. Compared to the potential of 60% from going for the wood glue. Doesn't inspire confidence here. Okay. So if we want to have the new vehicle here, 
What would we want to put in the back versus in the front here? So realistically, we have like 30 storage in here we can make use of. When I go put stuff in the back, I want to use it as just moving stuff around, basically. I don't know if it really is how we'd want to do that here. There's a crowbar in the main inventory for right now. So move some stuff around. Toilet paper. Grab that. We're getting the junk out of the trunk and also the glove box here. Oh, don't put an alarm on. Light source is good. Cigarettes are apparently fine. This is the main inventory. Notebook, wallet, blue pen, map. Look at this map. Read it. Louisville. Alright. We'll put those in a different location here. Don't need these. Could just drop them on the ground or something. Nah. Don't need a blue pen. Doing fine. Okay. So let us. Fill this all the way up here, I guess. We will siphon some gasoline here. Maybe also a bit heavier. That's okay. So I have plenty of gas in here. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to try to have two cars because we end up have to walk back and get the other one per. Possibly. Which is not the most fun sometimes. How full is this getting? Huge amount of space here is the problem. Put all this in the back. All sorts of sorts of stuff. We have some tarps, business. Okay. The gas can in the back. In both hands, the axe. Let's see if we can transfer some stuff over here. Loot all from the back here. Depends on what you're trying to do. For moving stuff between locations and looting, moving stuff between locations we want this, but for looting we want that. Which is not ideal because actually getting specific things. We can't we can't have two cars is the problem. What do we want in the front? Food, I guess, would be a smart thing to have in the front. Just have access to it while moving. What if we could block things from being specifically moved? Maybe convenient. That's kind of that's a potential plan. Transfer onto here. Got lots and lots of storage in this trunk though, so that's really nice. We could not really need to worry about non-permanent movement if we have this. We just put the things that we don't want to be carrying around all the time in somewhere while we look in the area. And then for transferring things around, this is a brilliant amount of storage. 
120 trunk. It's wild. I think we can go far with this. I think it will do quite nicely. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna deal with some zombies first. No zombies. Why gotta be like this, zombies? I'm just hanging out, trying to move some stuff around. And then it's zombies time. I'll just get out of here. You're dead. You're wildly inconvenient here. Not gonna lie. I haven't getting tired yet. Well, that's good. <laughs> Help us slay all these zombies here. Oh, there, there it goes. <laughs> We're even getting tired here. And this one. And this one. There you go. Pistol. Holster. I think we need more holsters than we currently have. Another jacket with holes, meh. Come on. Zombies, zombies, zombies. That's too crazy. Let's keep grabbing stuff out of here. Loot all this back seat. Got bits of food, some other duplicate things that we currently already have on us at all times. The broken wood axe of sad times. I mean, it's, te it's not technically broken. It's got a few charges in it. But for all intents and purposes here. Let's all this into the trunk. This does mean we're going to be able to move around quite a bit of stuff we go to a new location here. We have a lot of things we could take with us. That's for sure. A few more pieces of canned food here, too. Yeah, repaired. I, I feel like the repaired state made it degrade much quicker, unfortunately. Not really what we wanted. A little drowsy. Okay. Let's grab the last set of things in the old car. Loot all from the front right seat. We'll just put these in the front right seat of our new car. Let me do some construction here. Let me have some nails. Kind of need those. A little heavy here. We can also get the window repair done tonight. That'd be fine. And transfer all to this seat. Got a few things here, a few bits of food. That's okay. There's a crowbar ready to go. That's everything from there. Got a full tank of gas. No worse, we can get some more gas. It's all working out. Okay. Technically, we could put some gas in there in case we needed it. So far, it really hasn't seemed like we've gotten into a situation where we were like running out of gas at all. The total amount, the total amount available has been pretty solid. More zombies. Of course, there is. Turn on our lights or something. It's getting a little dark. Get away from where those zombies are at. Hopefully they don't follow us too much. Oh, there's zombies in our front yard. Great. Or at least the neighbor's yard. Alright. Well, we're going to have to need to deal with that, clearly. Yep, yeah, they saw us. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
you. Right. And you. You have a maintenance level somehow. Sure. I can complain about it. We're not maintaining anything here. Our axe is just breaking. We have a dirty bandage. Get some disinfectant going, that'd also be helpful. We need to have that as an option. You. Alright, anybody else? Anybody else want some? I think we got them. Got disinfectant inside here. We'll use that before we go to bed. Come up. In here? Yes, it is. Remove the bandage. Disinfect it. That'll be great. And rebandage. Deal with that infection here. Ding dong. <laughs> Anyways, we didn't end up getting the board to fix the window. We can do that tomorrow morning. I'll be fine. Let's just get to bed here. Another day. Found a new car. So that's pretty good. And we stayed up late enough that we had a reasonable morning here. It all works out. It all works out. Okay. That's a beautiful day. Next time. Goodbye.